since the beginning of this show, there were rumors about infidelity in your relationship. And I'm even thinking, wasn't that what those tabloids were that somehow appeared on that cast trip? Kyle, there is that, that story about Mauricio cheating and whatnot. Like, what's up with that? You tell Brandy to pack the tabloids that have lies about Mauricio and them? No. I'm pissed. I'm f***ing pissed. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Yes. Okay. Yes. And he would say to me, you know, we can't care. We know the truth. And, you know, and of course, there's always that little voice in my head, like, well, what if this is true? Right. And people would say these things all the time, so. Even if they're they not did. true. Yes, yes of course, 100%. Through. The damage is done no matter what. She's so gone through it. Yeah, I know. The shadow of doubt, you know? It's a campaign of whispers. It's, it's the campaign of whispers, it's 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 of whispers you know? It whispers around, and then that's how it comes ugly. Did those rumors over the years cause you to chip away at your trust for him? Yes. They did. And they made me feel insecure. You know what, people I know when you're high profile, they're gonna say you're this, you're that. Right. They're gonna make stories up. Okay. And they're you trying know, to hurt you, make you feel bad, and it works. Yes. And it does yeah, work. It does work. Orange Ryan said, I feel like Kyle has a big girl crush on Morgan, but I don't feel it's reciprocated. Randy DeSavage said, this is the reason Morgan is friends with Kyle. She likes the clout. Ladies, what do you think? That's ridiculous. She's a critically, lot of acc critically like acclaimed She's music. She's yeah. not. Yes. Conversely, you kind of made her a household name. Like I said, you know, she cares about making music and she, I, she I think really she would does. really give up being a household name just to be able to keep making her music and not have that scrutiny. But like, when did you decide to do the music video? Among, like when? Why or when? You, like when, like during? Um, the music video was done actually right, like about, I want to say a month before that story broke. About Momi, but so the point of obviously once was... that story came out about Momi, well, we're not even making the video after that, but you know, we made it You had it already before. done it. We'd already done it. So the purpose of that music video was what? You know, she was on tour at the time, and then she was going to be playing at Stagecoach, and she said, I, I wanna come do this for you to support you for, you know, the event for Laureen, but then you have to be in one of my videos. I didn't really know the, the creative behind it until I got there. If you get on the internet, you see people were obsessed with, you know, us being friends and why we're friends. But we thought it would be, you know, kind of a, a good idea to kind of poke fun at that. And well, if they're going to talk, you might as well give them something to talk about. So, and I said to the, to the director, um, I've never actually like kissed anybody on camera, let alone a woman or off camera. Right. <laughs> so. I was very nervous and, you know, anxious. But, I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, I was obviously curious in order to say yes.